Believe it or not, but the analog FPV is not dead yet. I mean, it's maybe not the fastest evolving area of the FPV, but from time to time we are getting new products. We are getting new VTXs, new cameras, new goggles, etc. Today, let's take a very short look at the new analog FPV camera from Cadix. It's called the Rattle Pro. And yes, it's gonna be very quick because there is only so much you can tell about the analog FPV cameras in 2020. In general, it's the analog FPV camera from Cadix and it has Pro in the name. That suggests it's the better camera than the no Pro version. Is it right? Well, yeah, it depends how you're gonna take a look at it. First of all, we cannot really compare this with anything that is the digital FPV because the comparison would be absolutely not fair for the new Rattel Pro. So we can only compare it with some other analog cameras. And over over here, well, I'm not really sure. What I mean about that? The camera works great, like expected, just after putting on the model. Because at the moment I do not have any analog drones, it landed on the airplane. And in the air it behaved nicely. Colors, for example, are very nice. I would even have to say that maybe there is too much saturation on the default settings and it's a good idea to tune the saturation slightly down. However, the exposure is okay, the shadows are okay, even if the extremely high dynamic range scene we have right now, because we have zero clouds, the sun is very low, so when there is a shadow, it's a really, really, really dark shadow, and when there is no shadow, there's just very bright around you. So before next flight, I will just tune the saturation down a little and I should be happy. So it's a good quality analog camera. Most probably this is how much we can get with the image quality on the analog FPV and it works just fine. Is it better than other analog FPV cameras? Well, hard to say. Before putting the Rattle Pro on the model, I had over there the camera that I previously almost said that this is the best analog FPV you can can have and it was the Foxeer T-Rex. Is the Rattle Pro better than Foxeer T-Rex? I would have to say that honestly I don't know. Yes, the image looks slightly different in both of those cases. And yes, like I said before, most probably you should tune the saturation down on the Rattle Pro. But either way, both cameras were behaving very nice in flight. And that means that the evolution of the analog FPV is basically over. We cannot really put anything better on the market anymore. And that means if you are looking for the new analog FPV camera, then Rattle Pro is just fine. Anyhow, that's all what I've got. Here's the next video you should watch. This was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying! It's a camera and it works and it's okay. So, it's okay.